Our highways are the lifeblood of our nation. Highways, roads, and bridges keep our economy moving. They take us about our daily lives and are there to serve us in emergencies. Transportation agencies are responsible for maintaining our roads, bridges, and tunnels. These agencies rely on tax dollars for funding transportation systems. However, transportation is changing. People and businesses demand better and safer roads. Yet consumers are traveling in more fuel-efficient vehicles and buying less gas, which means less revenue for fixing aging highways. Meanwhile, new construction and road repair costs are increasing for our overburdened transportation system. Transportation agencies must use their tax dollars wisely to optimize service and minimize risk. Managing today's transportation systems requires a two-step approach. We have to take care of what we already own and we have to manage for the long term so that our transportation systems meet the needs of future generations. Transportation agencies in the United States and around the world are finding that asset management programs address this solution. Asset management is a strategic and systematic approach to managing transportation assets. It considers risk and investment needs over the entire life of an asset. Asset management helps ensure that available funding addresses your highest priorities. In Australia and internationally, asset management is leading to more informed decision making to maximise the value of our budget dollars. It's helping us to manage our risks and to deliver more sustainable services for our communities. Making informed decisions that maximise the value of budget dollars will help address the first step of our solution, taking care of what you already own. Most states are already taking action to keep their assets in good repair, using information about asset performance to stretch available tax dollars. I think transportation asset management is a lot like keeping your car in good shape. You can avoid big repair or replacement costs if you do preventative maintenance. A good example of preventative maintenance on a car might be waxing that car to keep it from rusting over time. In Minnesota, transportation asset management is much the same. We monitor the condition of our assets over time so that we can make more informed investment decisions. And the best part is we're stretching our limited transportation dollars. To begin, we have to end the worst first way of doing business. Waiting for a structure to completely wear out and then replacing the entire structure is much more expensive than preserving and renewing the structure over time. Over the life of an asset, a worst first strategy adds up to a lot more in expenditures than a strategy that uses more cost-effective treatments to preserve asset performance. Instead of relying on a crisis to signal action, asset management uses a systematic, data-driven approach to managing assets and reducing agency risks. You can base asset management decisions on reliable data about asset performance and know how that performance will change over time. The second step is to manage for the long term. Asset management encourages a long-term view that balances what you desire with what you can afford over the life of an asset. As consumers, all of us consider long-term costs when making big investments, like buying a car or a house. We have to make sure we have enough income to make monthly payments and to keep up routine maintenance. Likewise, before building new highways or bridges, plan your future cost of maintaining those assets. For example, the total cost of taking care of a road or a bridge can be up to three times the initial construction costs. So, for every $1 million you spend on a new project, you may be committing to as much as $3 million in future years to maintain the asset. Unless you arrange funding for future maintenance, something has to give. In the past, that something may have been the quality of service that you provide. To help estimate these future costs, agencies use transportation asset management plans. These plans include an inventory of assets and the level of service provided. They predict future demands to help set up a life cycle management plan and risk management plan. Asset management also provides insight in developing financial plans and investment strategies. 
The process of developing a transportation asset management plan helps agencies better understand what it costs to take care of what they already own so they can better manage their long-term needs and commitments. Future generations depend on this foresight to ensure the long-term financial sustainability of the services provided. The Moving Ahead for Progress in the 21st Century Act, or MAP 21 as it is known, calls for asset management. MAP 21 requires all state transportation departments to develop risk-based asset management plans for the 230,000 miles of pavements and bridges on the national highway system. Many resources are available to help you establish an asset management program. The Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, offers tools to help state DOTs effectively use asset management and meet MAP 21 requirements. Early on, FHWA has been very, very active in working on asset management. Our office was created in 1999, and, and we started with an initiative to advance asset management. But today, with MAP 21, we have a statutory requirement that states will now have asset management plans. And our goal is to make sure that the states are successful in, in developing these asset management plans. So we've conducted a whole series of outreach activities we include the webinars, we have NHI training, we put on some workshops, we put together an expert task group to really help us gather the right information to facilitate making these states successful as they move forward with asset management. FHWA's Asset Management website provides you with asset management publications and templates. The website also has existing asset management plans case studies, and summaries from peer exchanges. A key reference is the Transportation Asset Management Guide, a focus on implementation. It is available through the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, or AASHTO. This guide provides practitioners and decision makers with a hands-on document to implement a transportation asset management approach for their organization that will support a larger performance management program. FHWA works with the Transportation Research Board, AASHTO, and other organizations to support asset management. Asset management is essential to taking care of your resources, managing them for the long term, and becoming better stewards for the future. During these times of increased demand and constrained budgets, asset management makes budget dollars go further and reduces agency risk while providing a transportation system that succeeds now and in the future. For more information on asset management, visit the FHWA's Asset Management website at www.fhwa.dot.gov/asset.